today we are going to talk about a important topic called phishing you might have heard of phishing a lot of times and it's a commonly used term so what is basically phishing so phishing is a cyber security attack where the attackers or the malicious actors will send you messages could be an email could be an sms could be a voice note or they could even call you and they would pretend to be a person who you can trust now what happens in phishing now when such people send you messages or call you they try to manipulate you into giving them some important information right or they will send you a file or they could send you a link and if you click on that you will give them sensitive information so it's a very common social engineering attack yes it is technical but it needs to be crafted in such a way so that it piques the interest of the potential victim and they are urged to open the message or click on that link or respond to your call so let's talk about some phishing attacks so the first attack is email phishing as the name indicates the phishing messages will be sent via email so attackers are going to register fake domains and these fake domain names are going to look exactly like an actual domain and you would think that it came from the right organization or the right user you would think that it came from your bank and what would happen you would click on a link and your credentials will be stolen by them the next type is called spear phishing so as the name indicates it is used to target a particular person or a group of people for example could be a chief financial officer could be a ceo could be a specific person coming to the next attack it's called whaling whaling is very similar to spear phishing so spear phishing involves targeting someone and whaling is an attack which is going to target senior management roles people in the organization who have a lot of access rights because if you click on the links provided by those attackers and you are uh, a ceo or as you know you are a cfo and you have high access rights the attackers can gain a lot from you so the next type is smishing so smishing involves sending of smss so instead of calling you or sending you an email they would just send you a sms message which looks like a real message but it is going to take your information like maybe your card related information maybe your uh, aadhar card number maybe your ssn could be anything and then you've got wishing so wishing is basically voice phishing so they are going to call you they might uh, use an automated phone call and through that call they are going to pretend they are a trusted party and you will give them your details so these were the types of phishing attacks we discussed today in the next video we'll we'll look at how to prevent these attacks so thank you bye bye and see you in the next video